Before we had cameras in VR, we had screenshots and mirrors, sometimes worlds with built-in cameras and booths. VRChat has now provided everyone their built-in camera where you can capture from memories to art. I'm going to explain the camera settings to you and teach you the basics of photography and filmmaking. I am Jewelrybox, and this is my VRChat mastery. While I'm in VR explaining the camera settings all accessible in VR with VRChat Plus, desktop users and everyone else can still follow along with its limited settings. These are all the tools available to you right at the game. Starting with the menu, the camera tab has three categories, camera, other, and manage. Photo camera takes photos with built-in camera settings and sorts them into your photos folder. Stream camera makes your camera monitor displayed onto your computer screen, which you can use to display on a broadcast software for streaming or making videos. Icon camera takes photos for your user icon on your profile. Gallery camera takes photos for your profile gallery to either set them as a profile pic, create user icon, or create emojis. On desktop, you can upload images onto your account to have your custom icon, emojis, profile pic, or if you have a VR chat group, create event posters. Screenshot, you can take a screenshot of what you are viewing with UI and all. Steadicam stabilizes or reduces the shakiness of your headset camera for display purposes. Multi-layer camera opens a camera that renders the people, environment, and UI separately for easier compositing. Open gallery menu, you can view the photos in your gallery. Open photos folder is where the VRChat photos are stored. All photos are sorted into year and month labeled folders in VRChat folder in your picture system folder. The user interface on a monitor displays the settings defaulted or what you set to the camera. Camera mode, pin, focus, and filter. You can switch the camera front or back or reverse the photo depending on your settings. You can also flip the camera by hand. You can zoom and reset, use the arrow to show or hide the camera settings, or X to close the camera. The camera has up to 14 tabs of settings. Take photo with the press of a button, Timed, 5 seconds, where you can take a photo on a timer 5 seconds without holding the monitor. Camera mode, which I explained earlier. Photo, stream, gallery, user icon, multi-layer. Flying is a new drone feature where you can fly your camera around you up to 150 meters. While toggled on, you are unable to move in the world. Anchor is where you can anchor your camera to these three settings. Default, where the camera is anchored to the camera. Local, where the camera is anchored to your play space. And world, where the camera is anchored to the world. Behavior, we have smooth, which stabilizes or reduces the shakiness of the camera. Look at me, where the camera's tracked to your face, which will keep the face or viewpoint in the center of the camera. Auto level, which levels the camera to its height where the tilt is off. And trigger takes photo, where pressing the trigger takes a photo. In focus, we have off, where everything is in focus. Full auto, which focuses on a subject you selected manually or automatically. Semi-auto is where the aperture adjusts the depth of field and manual, which controls the aperture and focal distance, which is the distance from a lens to its focus. Pins are very useful features when you want to save presets or use them as a multicam live production. By pressing the trigger, you can toggle back and forth two pins at a time. Mask is where you can toggle certain layers on and off. Local user, which is yourself, remote user, all users in the world, environment, which is the world to a transparent background, green screen, you can toggle the green screen on and off for a clean removal of the background when you have a program to key out a color that's usually not used on a person or a shot. In CG, it can be rather difficult to remove or not as clean, so you should practice keying before making it your go-to. UI, you can toggle on and off the UI whether to use for demonstrations or show nameplates. Lens visibility, whichever you choose, people can still see your camera with its nameplate attached to it or when they open their menu. These settings are useful depending on if you are taking group photos or streaming or need to see where to look. Off to keep the lens hidden, ghost to keep the lens transparent, or solid to keep the lens visible. Filters are rarely used, but you can add effects to your pictures or videos. Whether funny, artsy, or comedic effect, these effects can enhance for what you need. Blueprint, glitch, speed, hypno, pixelate, sketch, sparkle, trippy, old. Photo resolution. Depends what you're using the picture for, you can go from HD up to 8K. Lock. Keeps the monitor locked in place for easier control from distance without needing to hold the monitor. Grid. Is a guide for compositing your photos by dividing the camera frame into nine equal sections, following the rule of thirds, which is the basic principle of photography. With all of these tools, you can create these optimal camera movements. Handheld. Adds a raw and immediate feel to the footage, suitable for documentary or a sense of chaos. Steadicam creates fluid and immersive feel, allowing for dynamic movement without the shakiness of traditional handheld shots. Dolly or track is where the camera follows the subjects or explores environment with smooth lateral or forward or backward movements.
pan, tilt, panning, and tilting combinations. Pan is where the camera swivels horizontally from a fixed position. Tilt is when the camera swivels vertically from a fixed position. Combining them offers versatility in captured multi-directional movements within scene. Whip pan is a rapid horizontal pan creating blurred or streaked effect. This is a transition between scenes or add energy to the visual narrative. Zoom, zoom in, zoom out, or zolly or vertigo effect. Adjust the focal length of the lens to make subject appear closer or farther away. This alters the composition without physically moving the camera, creating sense of intimacy or distance. Combining them creates a disorienting or surreal effect, often used for dramatic tension. Crane is where the camera is mounted on a crane or jib, allowing for vertical and horizontal movements, offering sweeping, elevated shots, providing a unique perspective and grand scale. Arc shot or circle shot highlights the central point or character, often used for dramatic effect. Now that you've learned the cool camera movements you can recreate in VRChat, here are some basic camera shots to consider when filming. Eye level. High angle. Low angle. Bird's eye view. Dutch angle or tilt. Over the shoulder. Point of view. Two shot. Three shot. Wide shot. Full shot. Medium long shot. Medium shot. Medium close up. Close up. Extreme close up. Establishing shot. Insert shot. Other menus to help with photos and video, we have personal mirror for poses or viewing your surroundings to seem like you can sense or feel an interaction from another subject. Face cam to see your facial expressions for the appropriate look. Gestures, which you can toggle on and off for a photo or keep an expression while expressing with your hands. Animations, toggle animations of the avatar to get the shot you need if you don't have FBT or your body movements are limited. Avatar height, to adjust yourself to the world, other avatars or get creative with it. Avatar toggles, toggle features for appropriate combination to tell a story. Go Go Loco, adjust poses for standing, sitting, laying down, or even dramatic float. World settings, even though we can't control the white balance or post-processing, there are worlds that provide those adjustable settings. Note on lighting, proper lighting is essential for achieving correct exposure, avoiding issues like overexposure or underexposure. It also minimizes the noise and ensuring image or footage quality. Find a world with good lighting or for easier keying on avatars with green on them. There are worlds with flat blue screen backgrounds and even control your own lighting. Instead of adding props to your avatar, which can take a lot of stress to do, you can go to studio worlds that provide props necessary for your content. Either take a picture or a 10 to 20 second still footage of the background needed, preferably all focus to edit out of focus however you wish. Green screen your talent with prop and add it together in post. You don't need advanced camera mods to achieve the best shots. You just need to work with what you have because creativity flourishes with limitations. You can check out other VR photographers, filmmakers, or content creators on their social media, join their VR chat group, or join their events and learn it firsthand. You can also follow other travelers, streamer, photographers, and photographer 3D model reviews who are like myself as they too share their artwork online. If there's anything else you want to learn about what you can do in VR chat, leave it in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more content like this. This is VR Chat Mastery. I am Jewelry Box. Class dismissed.